Hey guys, we're back here on the dyno doing some more tests. Today we got the RE Audio 65 XV.1 monoblock amplifier. We're gonna run it through our typical normal test that we always do with our certified and dynamic burst. Um, we're gonna go off of what the manufacturer says here on the box. Uh, 750 watts at four ohms, 1350 at two, and 2200 watts by one um, at one ohm. So we're gonna see what it does. So let's get started. All right, so we did our tests and we got the numbers to compare. Um, at four ohms, we got 731 watts. This is the certified power. Um, at two ohms, 1,283 watts. And at one ohm, 2020. Uh, we did fall a little bit low on the voltage. Um, you know, so I'm pretty com comfortable saying that if we had the 14.4, which is what I'm sure they manu uh, the manufacturer rates it at, that we would be a little closer to what they say, but uh, it did well in the dynamic uh, RMS power. Uh, four ohms, 812 watts, two ohms, 1,548 watts, and at one ohm, 2,562 watts. So all in all, definitely a great performer. Uh, pretty much performs just about on par with what they say on the box. Um, you know, for the most part, I've stated this in many of the other videos that you've probably seen, the dynamic RMS power, which is the burst test, is what actually you guys are gonna be using in your car when you play music. That simulates music, so, I mean, 2,562 watts, it's a lot of power. So, I mean, to me, that's kind of what I look at when I test these amplifiers is, you know, I'm not, I'm not playing a test tone, I'm playing music in my car. So, 2,562 uh, 2, watts, uh, definitely good power. Uh, once again, this is the RE Audio uh, 65KV.1 monoblock and I'm Alan with Sonic Electronics.